Describe the polarographic technique using H-shaped polarographic cell. In 1922, Harowski discovered a technique with the help of which qualitative, quantitative and even mixture can be analyzed qualitatively and quantitatively. The technique is known as polarography. In this case, electrolysis of experimental solution is done. The cathode is polarized electrode where deposition takes place and anode is non-polarized electrode. The cathode is dropping mercury electrode and anode is large pool of mercury or reference electrode such as saturated calomel electrode with large surface area. H-shaped polarographic cell consists of two electrodes in two parts. One is indicator electrode or dropping mercury electrode where reduction takes place and other is a reference electrode like saturated calomel electrode. Both half cells are connected with the help of agar plug. Experimental solution is filled in chamber of dropping mercury electrode. Nitrogen gas is passed for about 10 to 20 minutes to remove dissolved oxygen from experimental solution. Saturated calomel electrode or anode is connected to the variable resistance and then to positive terminal of battery. A sensitive current recorder is connected in series and a voltmeter is connected between cathode and anode. The height of mercury reservoir is adjusted that mercury falls at the rate of 20 to 30 drops per minute. Close the circuit and keep the jockey S on X position. For this position of jockey, find out the reading of voltmeter and galvanometer. The jockey was moved from X to Y slowly and for each position of jockey, take the readings of voltmeter and galvanometer. Now plot a graph of current versus applied voltage. The graph thus obtained is known as polarogram. As half wave potential is characteristic of each ions present in solution, we can have qualitative analysis and with the help of the diffusion current, we can have quantitative analysis. D. Elkovic performed the number of experiments on polarography. In each case, he observed the applied potential and current obtained in galvanometer. In each case, he plotted graph of current versus applied potential and from graph he calculated diffusion current ID. He said if ID is known to us, we can find out the concentration of experimental solution. By equation, ID is equals to 60C N D power to half M power to 2 by 3 T power to 1 by 6 and C where N is valency of metal D is diffusion coefficient which is a constant M is rate of fall of mercury in grams per second C is concentration in millimoles per dm cube T is the average time of fall of mercury drop and ID is diffusion current in microamps. As D depends on temperature, therefore ID also depends on temperature. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel.